So look, it's Casey from Hometown Realty and I wanted to jump on here because oh, we talk all the time about it's a seller's market, but we never talk about what the heck to ask that realtor that's walking in your house to say, I want to represent you. So here's two things to ask your realtor. First one, ask them how they got to that price that they're telling you because you're going to talk to five or six realtors. All of them are going to tell you a different price, but how did they get there? What exactly did they look at? And so I'll tell you the way I do it. So I'm going to look at your house. I'm going to grab that square footage and I'm going to look at other houses that are about 300 square feet plus or minus around your house so that I can get a good pull of what's going on. Then the other thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at your school district. People move because of school districts. They don't always move because of a neighborhood. So I'll grab that high school and look at all the houses in that high school district. If it's too much, we're going to add the elementary school and the middle school until we get to a nice little, little area. Then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the style house you have. So if you got a two story, I'm going to look at other two stories. If you got a rancher, I'm looking at other ranchers, that kind of thing. Never going to look across house styles because they're definitely in different price points. They sell different. They look different, like feel different. Everything's different about them. So after I get all of those things, I'm going to have a nice little pile of houses, hopefully little, sometimes it's huge. Um, and I'm going to pull from that the ones that match your house the best, like year wise, um, acreage wise, like all the other bits and pieces. I'm trying to match them up real, real close. Then I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to lay them out and be like, here's all your houses that, you know, match you. And we're going to go through it and we're going to talk about how um, some of them are a good match and some of them are a little further out because maybe they're just not as updated or maybe they're more updated. And bonus, when we sit down and talk about all this, I'm going to tell you the tips and tricks of what to do that cost you a little money, but make you a lot. So like that $60 can of paint that covers that bright yellow room you got, you know, with agreeable gray makes a huge difference. Buyers absolutely love it and it'll make you more money in the long run. So that's the first thing you need to ask. You need to ask us like, where the heck did you get that price? Um, and how are you going to back it up when an appraisal comes in? So that's all one question right there. Second thing you need to ask us is how the heck are you going to market my house? Because in today's day and age, we can all stick it in MLS, walk away and get offers. But that's not helping you. So when you ask a realtor, how are you going to market? Like, what's your plan? So like, I have a house that's coming soon. I'm going to put it in coming soon. I am going to start advertising about it. It's going to go on Instagram. It's going to go on Facebook. It's going to go anywhere I can throw it. We're going to send out a mailer around the, all, to all the houses around that to say, hey, your, your neighbor's house is listed. If you got anybody, call us. You know, and then we're going to do an open house. So we're going to knock all the doors around the neighborhood to basically, um, knock all the doors around the neighborhood so that all the neighbors will know about the open house and we'll send all their friends and family in the open house. So there's a lot that we do to drive traffic to the house. So the offers we get aren't just normal offers. They're the good offers and that we have a lot of offers to choose from. So I am, my whole goal is to drive more traffic to your house instead of just sitting in there and being like, yeah, we'll get an offer eventually. Like that's not a good agent. So ask us those two questions. How did you come up with the price of my house? And how are you going to market the house? Those are really good questions to ask because it gives you the driver's seat and tells you what we're going to do. And then you can be like, well, I didn't like that. So we're not going to do that. Or, Hey, did you think of this? Or like, Hey, he does more. So we're going to go with him. You know, it gives you some driver's seat info. So hope y'all are having a great day and staying dry. This is really rainy day. Not a fan of mud season. It feels like it's coming back, but it's probably not. But if you're looking to sell, if you're looking to buy, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me a message. I'm always here. Would love to help and partner with y'all. Y'all have a great day. Bye.